genetics and briefly about Mendel, the father of genetics. In our previous classes, we already covered inheritance, heredity, variation, and basic difference of heredity with example and inheritance with example and the idea for which Mendel got a number of explanations towards the principle of inheritance, all these things. So today, briefly, we are going to discuss about Mendel, his life history and the step towards today's generation and the theories uh, for which he famous and uh, the failure or the steps for which that is the reason behind his failure and the reason behind his success also. So, at first I told you that Mandel is born in a poor family and his father is a farmer and he also uh, well known about cultivation and all these things and he born in a small middle class family, poor family in at uh, 22 uh, July 1822 that means his birth year is 1822 and he experimented a Python satirical plant that means in botanically he is your Python satirical plant and in common name it is your pea plant he experiment, his experiment is based on a pea plant and uh, he experimented over a pea plant through 6 years and he died in 1884 and after his death of 16 years in 1900 three scientists named Hugo de Vries, Coros and Lamarck recaped his theory and reconfigured his theory and after that Mendel got recognized. So a question arises in mind that <coughs> a person born on 1822 he experimented in a plant, Python Satayam, through a long time, six years, and his death year is 1884. After his death of 16 years, that means after his death 16 years, his theory is again recapitulated. His theory is again recapped and rewrote by some of the scientists and for and his experimental theories and his experimental laws are again repeated after 16 years. What is the reason behind the unsuccessful Mendel? That means in the uh, lifetime, in his lifetime, he did not achieve all these things and after his death, all these things are get added. And we have just taken off some of the steps towards Mendel that how his theory got the recognition and what is the reason behind his unsuccessful and his successful. We just take uh, some of the examples and points through which we can reach over with what is the reason behind his unsuccessful and what is the reason behind his successful. So, first we talk about his failure. So, if we talk about his failure, uh, I told you that he is a mathematician. He is not a biologist. So, uh, he, he, he had a good idea about mathematics. He had a good idea about statistics and calculus of all these things and he is not only a mathematician he is also a priest uh, priest in a church so the name Gregor is awarded from the church also that means the, the name Gregor is attached over here is for the reason only so after uh, after uh, at the time of uh, his priest uh, he just uh, cultivated P plus and through the P plant, he got a number of experimental studies. So, what is the reason behind his unsuccessfulness? So, if we talk about the reasons of his non recognition, all these theories that Mendel went contradict all these things uh, of his experiments are spread over here. That means, if we take an example of today's generation, all those things are updated through social media like your WhatsApp, like your Facebook like your Twitter, WhatsApp, all these things. So, in this social media, in this social media platform, we get all the data updated and in television also we get, uh, that means for media, it is the easy process to uh, publish uh, some persons, experimental structures, some cases and a number of uh, journals are provided over here. So, at the time of uh, Mendel, there is no journals are there, 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 there is a little bit of local journal 
journals are published at that time. So Mendel's experiments are not uh, so good that we can publish in a national way. That means uh, his uh, experimental studies are not published. So it was also a negative point that his works are not published properly. That means there is not proper media. That means, that means there is no proper way for which his experimental studies can uh, publish. Nextly, biologists did not accept. I told you that Mendel is a mathematician. That means uh, always there is a query that how a mathematician, mathematician can uh, conclude uh, some biological points, how a mathematician, mathematician can uh, able to study about biology, how a mathematician uh, conclude uh, about uh, some factor, uh, that means something is passed from one generation to another generation and some, uh, some generation after a generation to generation, something is changes, all these things, how a mathematician can know. So there is a question uh, in every uh, biologist, so they can not able to uh, adjust, that, 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 that means they cannot uh, accept uh, Mendel's theory because he is a mathematician. So biolog biologists cannot accept it, their theory. Next key, factor. Mendel told that there is something which is passed from one generation to another generation. That uh, in ancient also a line is there. If we uh, talk about an elephant, it can produce a baby, baby elephant. If we talk about a mango plant, it can produce a mango. So if we like previous, like I told you in your previous class. So if we talk about that uh, from a parent generation to his offspring, something is passed on. That means something is passed from his parent generation to his offspring. And that is always a known as factor. And it is, is a, it is a distinctive difference. That means, uh, in regularly, in that time, the people who know about Mendel and his laws, they are not catch about the thing factor. That means, how something is passed out. There is no imaginary studies at, at that time. So, they cannot imagine that something is transformed from one generation to another generation. It is also a point of failure. Nextly, reasons for Mendel's success. Then what is the positive point? What is the points for which he got the success? The first point is selection of contrasting character. Then what is the contrasting character? We just take off first. If we take an example of a pea plant, if we take an example of a pea plant, I told you that I look a pea plant which is short, and I look also another pea plant which is shorter to the first one. In my opinion, the first plant is short, the second plant is shorter. If you look that plant and you pull that, no sir, this first plant is shorter to the second plant. That means, in your opinion, this plant is shorter and this plant is short. That means, there is a ambiguity, there is a confusion between uh, both student and teacher that which plant is short and which plant is shorter. So, for avoiding that nature, he just put forward contrasting character. Contrasting character means one plant is tall and another plant is short. That means the two characters are totally different. That means one is the tall plant is tall for everybody and short plant is short for everybody. There is no confusion, there is no ambiguity. So, for this reason, he get selection, selected seven characters and all these seven characters and a couple of cases later I just explained every seven characters with example. So these are the seven characters, that means these are the contrasting characters. Nextly, large sample size. I told you that he works as a priest in a church. So there is a lot of place in the church, that means for cultivation and that, that, that means in, there is a lot of field for cultivation and he just cultivated pea plant that I told you that he worked six years with a plant of pea plant that means for Python Satello he worked six years so there is a large collection of sample size that means he cultivated a lot of plant and for every plant he just collected the seed he collected he just talked talk about that means he wrote about the pot size he looked about the plant height and he looked about the leaf color and the flower measure and all these things couple of stages later I just explained one by one so for this reason he get a large sample size and for the large sample size he get a experimental good character that means for the large size he accurately he, he just get the accuracy of the number accuracy of the analysis that means in, in next 
next class we just to cover about monohybrid cross, dihybrid cross, and in every stages you look that there is a particular size that that means there is a particular ratio in which Mendel study. That is because of your large size. Nextly, correct data analysis. I told you that it is also a most important point. Correct data analysis. It is also a very important positive point because I told you that he is a mathematician. So he has a better idea to attachment the files, to attachment the case studies, to attachment the uh, data analysis in uh, step by step and uh, a statistical manner. So he had a good idea about mathematics. So he can arrange all the data in a systematical order. For his systematical order, after his death of 16 years, after his death of 16 years, all the data are clarified by Yehuda Giri's Keris and Koros and Lama. That means all the scientists are able to talk about his data repeatedly after 16 years because of this one positive point. That, that is your correct data analysis. That means he can analyze all the experimental thoughts, all the experimental ideas, database in a systematical order. Big, uh, that means after his death also all these data are good and we just uh, nowadays are talk about VR and this so all these things are uh, attractively uh, found by his correct data analysis next, nextly no use of linkage it is it may be a positive point or you may call it as uh, by his luck that means he, he, he is a person of good luck that he cannot found any linkage linkage gene means that there is no genes are linked to one another that means all the genes are different from one another that means all the seven characters he do in his experiment all are different from one another at every cause you may take it as a peg cross you may take it as a test cross and uh, you may talk about trihybrid cross trihybrid cross monohybrid cross everything all these things the, all these experiments no linked genes are there that means no genes are linked to one another it is also a most positive point. That means it is a value. If I wrote over here, yes, he found a linkage in. That means uh, Mendel got a value over here. I wrote over here, no use of linkage. That means there is no link genes are there. So he, it is a positive point to him that he got all the analytical character of uh, inheritance. That means he wrote all the laws and principles which are applied in every person with example. With, with every analytical studies, we can use these laws. So, these are the, some of the positive and negative points and mental success and failure about his life history. So, it is not a brief analysis of his life history. Uh, there is a lot, lot of things about Lama, there is a number of things about Darwin and his theory, which is related to this topic, but for, those, for class 12, it is enough, I think it is enough. It is just an introductory part. So, there is another question uh, uh, opens in mind that uh, Service after 16 years, it, this, this is the reasons of 16 years that uh, all these things are uh, not recognized at the time of uh, uh, Mendel and after his death of Mendel, uh, all these things are uh, wrote by your Hugo Davis, Chorus, and Lama. Then, what is why Mendel choose the Pison Satanum? Mendel choose only a single plant, Pison Satanum, which is a pea plant. What is the reason behind it? There is also another question of all the students that how a pea plant is an uh, experimental character, not other plant. Why not the other plant? So in our next class, we just discuss about why the pea plant, Mendel, why took pea plant for his experimental character. So hope this class is helpful for all of you. Till the stay tuned. Thank you.